what you guys got another video here for you in this video we're taking a look at a free pc optimizer utility for windows 10. now if you're one of these people that like to optimize windows 10 then this video is for you the program is called optimizer and you can get it from the github website here so i'll leave the link in the video description when you click on the optimizer uh, executable file here you may get a warning from your windows 10 machine and this is because it's an unknown publisher and it's also an executable file that you're downloading you can click on keep if you wish to keep the file and download it it will then give you the app might harm your pc and that's because it's trying to protect you through the smart screen uh, setting here but you can keep the program and download it if you want to use it on your pc i have uploaded this to virus total and it come up clean apart from two little detections here which tells me it's more than likely a false positive and the people that have detected it are not well-known uh, sort of antivirus companies. So I'm not too worried about running this on a Windows 10 system. So I've downloaded this. If you choose not to use it, that's entirely up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and run this on the system and we'll see what it looks like once we get this fired up. So let's go ahead and double click on here and you will see the unknown publisher box popping up. And now we get the optimizer program popping up here on the screen. So it's got it all in tabs up the top here. So the first tab is universal and we're going to take a look at that. You can see here enable performance tweaks right here. You just use the little rocker button to slide this on and off. And if it's purple, it means it's going to be optimized. Disable network throttling, also disable Windows Defender and also disables uh, system restore, print service and also disable uh, media player sharing. And there's a bunch of other ones here like telemetry, which you can toggle on and off if you wish. Disable super fetch, home group, error reporting, uh, fax service, and some other ones here. Now you can disable whatever you like here. Once they go purple, that means they are ready to be disabled and you would just then hit the apply and restart. And basically this will uh, turn these features off. Now again, you can choose whichever ones you want to do. I'm just going to have a quick look at the next tab before I apply and restart. The next tab is Windows 10. You can see here, enable legacy volume slider. Also enable uh, taskbar color, uh, quick access history. Also start menu ads, disable those. Enable uh, dark theme, uninstall OneDrive, disable my people and so on. There's a bunch of different ones here which you can use. There's also disable automatic updates, which I'm going to leave. Also exclude drivers from updates. This is in case you don't want to have drivers included into uh, the update feature. Disable uh, telemetry services here, privacy options. This will disable all the privacy options for you. Disable silent app install and uh, disable Cortana. And a bunch of other good stuff here which you can enable or disable depending on whether you use these or not so it's entirely up to you whatever you want to go ahead and disable you can leave ones that you do use so it's just a simple case of toggling these on and off and uh, what would be nice if they added some little bubbles here to give you some information about what these actually are like some other programs do this will give people an idea of what they actually do if they're going to be disabling these and uh, it just helps them out a little bit. So let's take a look at the UWP apps here. This is the built-in apps inside Windows. You can disable these if you wish. You can either disable all of them by selecting all or just selecting the ones that you want to disable, like your phone, uh, Zoom Music and Zoom Video. If you don't use any of these, then you can uh, remove them all, but just go through here and remove the ones that you don't use. Be careful because there is ones in here like uh, Windows Camera, and other things like that that you might use on your PC. So go through this with a fine tooth comb and make sure there's an, uh, no programs in there that you are going to use because if you remove them, you're not going to be able to use those applications on that computer because they've been removed. So just go through here very carefully and remove only the stuff that you don't use or you don't want on your PC. It's that simple. Once you've selected all or selected the ones that you want to remove, you can push apply and then push enter and it will basically remove those from the computer. It's that simple. So let's move on to uh, the next tab, which is the startup tab here. 
and uh, basically we're going to have a look at these so you can see here choose the startup items that you want to locate or find in the registry or remove or remove all and it will remove these from the startup area next up is common applications i think this is a really good idea for people that use particular types of programs on a regular basis on a fresh install this will allow you to download and install these programs like google chrome like uh, for instance uh, team viewer if you use that google zoom uh, discord dropbox onedrive wherever it is you use on a regular basis you can put the ticks in here and push uh, download and it will download and install these on your computer a little bit like uh, Nanite and a bunch of other programs that do the similar sort of thing as this um, so again this also has ea origin epic games battle.net uplay and steam so it basically installs a lot of these for you so it's a nice little option and i think they're going to be adding more to this selection so depending on what you want to install you can put ticks in these download them and install them in one fell swoop which makes it nice and easy to install uh, programs which you use on a regular basis let's move on to the cleaner section here this is also a cleanup of your system drive it will remove all of the temporary files windows plus uh, log files here prefetch cache memory dump files and a bunch of other stuff here also you can edit the host file if that's what you like doing i don't particularly mess with the host file but if you do this is where you can uh, put in your host file edits inside here a lot of people like to mess around with this and block the telemetry side of things inside there i'm going to leave that well alone uh, for this video but basically you've got some other areas like the registry fix registry common issues also there and uh, we've also got some options here for choosing your theme and that is the optimizer in a nutshell you can apply and restart and it will put the settings in of your choice now again if these programs are not for you or you don't trust them or you don't want to use them by all means then don't download it and don't mess with it if you're one of these people that just like to leave the system as is then this program is not for you this program is for people that like to optimize windows 10 and remove telemetry and a bunch of other stuff that they don't need so that is designed for those types of people again it's a choice thing whether you like to do that or not is up to you i'll leave the information in the video description if you're interested in it you can always uh, download it and test it if you don't want to then that's by all means that's entirely up to you anyway that's going to be about it that's basically a free optimizer utility for windows 10 my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support thanks again for joining my members group i shall see you again for another video tomorrow bye for now